There's bad news on the job front for teachers and education staff as well. Hundreds have been given a choice, except to pay out and quit or risk being forced out of their jobs. For more than 200 teachers and staff, they have just 24 hours left to decide if they'll accept a voluntary redundancy. They're being told this is the best offer you're going to get. If not, they'll risk being forced out when the new public sector laws come into force on Friday. I implore upon workers that are facing, the, you know, being offered a voluntary redundancy not to panic. Offers have been made to staff deemed to be surplus to requirements. That doesn't mean at all that there isn't uh, work to do and work to be done. In one case, a teacher who's too afraid to reveal her identity moved to work in a remote school in the Kimberley. There for five years, she left her family behind. She moved back to the southwest, accepting a fixed-term position, driving 100 k's every day, leaving her exhausted. The teacher has since been stationed at a school closer to home. She's paid but has no official position. In February, she was offered a voluntary redundancy, told she should understand the new regulations may affect her if she chooses not to accept it. That's threatening people and that's frightening people. The department will work with those workers to try and establish a position either in the Department of Education or in the public sector. If those teachers and staff accept the offer, they'll be given three weeks pay for every year of service, capped at 52 weeks. But if they choose to reject it, then in six months' time they could be made redundant, given again three weeks' pay for every year of service. But the payout will now be capped at 26 weeks. Josh Yerger, Nine News.